Next thing we're going to do is introduce the bounding routine. A couple of things that are extremely important when teaching your athletes how to mount. Number one, posture. You want your athlete to be in the correct position. You don't want them leaning too far forward. You don't want them leaning to the side. <clears throat> you want them in a, in a very simple, upright posture. Secondly, you want your athlete to focus on keeping their knee up, their heel up, and their toe up in dorsal flexion exactly the same way that you teach in your sprint mechanics. It's very important that your athlete has a proper foot strike in their bounding routine. A lot of times athletes will let this toe dangle and strike in what we call a negative manner. What you want your athlete to do is keep their knee up, their heel up, their toe up, and for their foot to strike directly underneath their center of mass, rolling over their heel onto their toe. The next thing that we're going to do is simply teach our athletes how to bound correctly. I'm going to teach you the bounding routine that we use here at Arkansas. We're going to start very simply from a standing start all right, and take you through the sequence of bounds that we do, uh, combination bounds, single leg jumps, um, all those different things into what we call our bounding routine. Then we're going to progress and try to do that same thing carrying a little bit more speed into our bounding. Okay? A couple things that I want to point out in our bounding. It's the same concepts and principles as we use in our sprinting. We want to have good posture. All right? We want to keep our knees up, our heels pulled up towards our rear, and our toes up in dorsal flexion. All right? The next thing that we need to focus on, which is a little bit different than sprinting, is our actual foot strike in bounding. Okay? Our foot is going to strike underneath of us, but we're going to lead with the heel. All right? So it's actually going to kind of come down like this, and it all happens very quickly, and our body rolls over our foot correctly. It's very important that your athlete learns this proper foot strike in order to be efficient in the triple jump and to avoid injury. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is a simple alternate leg bound, all right, where, where Mikey's going to go from his right leg to his left leg, right, left, right, left, just an alternate leg bound into the stand, starting from a standing position. Again, Michael's going to demonstrate an alternate leg bound, starting from a standing position. Knees up, heels up, toes up, being active into the sand. The next thing that Michael is going to demonstrate is consecutive right leg bounds into the sand. Good. Great. Now we're going to do the same thing just off the opposite leg. Now he's going to do left leg bounds into the sand. Next thing that Michael's going to demonstrate is the right, right, left, left. All right, so he's just going to go right, right, left, left, teaching himself how to do combination and switching legs in the air. Good. The next drill that Michael's going to demonstrate is simply a right, right, left, right, right, left. Notice we've backed up a little ways on the runway to give him a little bit more room to execute it. We're trying to go through this twice. So right, right, left, right, right, left, into the sand. Good. That is a, a very simple bounding routine that you can utilize for your athletes. Again, I would start off very simply just having them do a couple of repetitions from a standing position. Now, when you do your bounding routine, the other thing that you can also do is make sure that you find a soft surface, okay? Try not to bound on cement. Um, even try to avoid bounding on, on your regular track surface if possible. If you have a nice grass level infield, that's the best way to do it. If you have to be indoors, uh, basketball gymnasium, um, can be useful, but again, stay away from cement um, and just hard surfaces in general as much as you possibly can. We're very fortunate here at Arkansas to have an elevated runway, which is a little bit, uh, a little softer on impact. Um, but do your very best 
to stay on soft surfaces just as much as he possibly can. Michael has demonstrated the bounding routine from the triple jump board just basically into the sand. Now what you can do in the beginning of your season, once you teach the athletes the basic movements, you can put this in sets of 10 on your bounding. Once again, you have to find a, a very long area and preferably as soft a surface as you can to avoid injury. So you can do your consecutive um, alternate leg bounds in a set of 10. You can do your right leg in a set of 10, your left leg in a set of 10. You can do a right, right, left, left, having five on each. Uh, and you can also do your right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. All right, however you want to sequence it. But that can be your basic bounding routine. Now, once your athlete is proficient in their bounding routine, coming from a standing start, you can simply add speed. All right? <clears throat> I would start as simple as two steps back. Have your athlete back up two steps from the board. Just do a simple one, two into the board, and then move into the bounding routine. All right? Once again, the first thing that Michael's going to demonstrate is a simple alternate leg bound. You want your athletes to focus on carrying their speed through each repetition. So one thing that we're going to talk about is the hold and hammer. We're going to hold our knee up in the proper position, hold our toe up into dorsal flexion, ride it out, ride it out, ride it out, and then as your foot is about six inches above the ground, we're trying to hammer back through. On each phase, hold, 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 hammer. Hold, 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 hammer. All right? But at the same time, trying to keep our momentum going that way as much as possible. All right? From two steps, alternate leg bound. Now again, we're going to go from two steps and we're going to go consecutive rights, then we'll go consecutive lefts. As you can see here, we've simply moved back from the triple jump board a little ways, put a piece of tape on the track just to give Michael a little bit more room to do the next sequence, which is right, right, left, left, into the sand. Once again, we've moved back from the triple jump board just a little ways, but we're allowing Mikey to do his right, right, left sequence. But now we've moved on to taking a four-step approach. We're simply adding a little bit more speed into the exact same drills that we've already done. So from four steps, Michael's going to demonstrate the alternate leg bound drill, and he's going to, on this time, he's going to happen to go all the way into the sand. Good. Typically, as our athletes move further back and take more speed into their takeoff, I get away from the single leg stuff and we do more of the combination type of jumps. Michael just demonstrated the alternate leg bound. Now he's going to demonstrate the right, right, left, left from a four step approach into his takeoff. All right, again, for demonstra demonstration purposes, Michael's simply coming from a four step approach. He's going to run to this piece of tape that we have on the runway here, run through his takeoff, and do a consecutive right, right, left, right, right, left. This is obviously very specific to the triple jump and mimics what we're going to do in competition. One thing that I really want you to make note of is that Michael's doing a very good job of running over his takeoff. He's not popping up or jumping too much like a long jump out of his takeoff. He's keeping his hips nice and tall and simply running over that takeoff. Again, as you progress and carry in speed into your bounding, you can start off at two steps, move to four steps, move to six steps, eventually move to eight steps, 10, and of course, back to your approach of 12 steps. I would really make sure that your athletes are good at each amount of speed before you move on. One common mistake 
is for an athlete to carry too much speed too early. So make sure that they're good at what they're doing before you move on to carrying more speed.